Hey everyone, welcome back to another recap podcast from SNX Weave, where we give quick weekly recaps of news and important updates from the previous week from the Spartan Council and core contributors, as well as discuss what the Grants Council and ambassadors are up to, so let's get started. Welcome to the new epic, Spartans. In case you missed it, here are your newly elected council members. Your Spartan council members for the epic will be Akbif, Cavalier, Cyberduck, Jackson, Millie, ML Pseudo, Snacks Friends, and SNX Maximalists. Serving the community on the Treasury Council this epic will be Cocaine, Slinky, Spartan Glory, and 0x27c. And lastly, your ambassadors for the coming epic will be D Sax, Gunboats, Master Mojo, Matt, and Westy. Thank you to all who ran, voted, and participated in governance this past epic, and congratulations to our newly elected council members. Now on to our regular updates. Last week, the Spartan Council discussed the on-chain election system and related upgrades. Moving Synthetics governance fully on-chain will come in two phases, and code for both implementations is currently in audit, and we should hear additional timeline details this week. The two phases will be as follows. The first phase is the automatic assignment and transfer of council NFTs, which allocate governance authority to the different councils. Elections are expected to be fully on-chain next epic, and depending how work progresses on the SNX chain over the course of the year, it's possible that the next election could take place on the SNX chain, and if not, it'll most likely happen on Optimism or Ethereum. The second phase is to allow for the Spartan Council to directly execute SCCPs. Currently, SCCPs are put to a vote on Snapshot and queued up in Canon for a lease. The new process will eliminate the Snapshot vote and allow the Spartan Council to release the SCCPs directly through Canon. Voting and releasing would be a single process. ML Pseudo called out a couple of instances in the past epic where release specifications were changed after the initial snapshot vote. In the new system, one of the signers will have to execute the transaction that makes the upgrade live, so it will be on the executor to make sure the release matches what was presented and voted on. Cav noted that this authority would only exist for SCCPs to start, which are configuration changes rather than code changes. Next, for a base scaling update, USDC LP incentives have been raised from $50,000 a month to $250,000 a month from the Gauntlet Incentive Marketing Program, which will generate a substantial APR boost for LPs, currently sitting around 50%. There are also some planned trading incentives that should be announced soon. Perps v3 is also ready to scale, and the final major feature update multi-collateral margin is in audit. Because Perps v3 is significantly more capital efficient than v2, it will be possible to achieve much higher OI multiples. In order to achieve the OI that Perps v2 offers, the target LP base would be $50 million. Lastly, there were a couple of SIP presentations last week, so let's briefly review them. The first was SIP 381 for Pool Owner Rewards Distribution Control. Presented by NOAA, this SIP proposes adding core system functionality that would allow a pool owner to adjust reward distributions. Currently, the token emission is incorporated in the distributor and can only be changed by the distributor contract. This can cause the distributions to fall out of sync with the accounting of the rewards after integration. The new change would allow pool owners to modify those values if necessary. This SIP has been voted on and approved with seven votes in favor. The last presentation was SIP 382 to list friend on Perps v3 on base. Proposed by Danny, this SIP requests preemptive approval to list friend on Perps v3 once it's available for trading on centralized exchanges. Danny expects it to be a popular listing based on how difficult it is to gain spot exposure to the token right now. And that's it for today's updates. Be sure to check out our weekly recap blog post, share this podcast link, and let us know what you think and what you'd like to hear more about from SNX Weave. Thanks for listening.